to or welcome back to Nora's Cove. If you are new here, I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist and I am also the owner of Nora's Cove, which is an on online stationery shop where we like to plan and budget and confidence. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you can come back for more content like this. But today we are going to be doing a flip of my new planner y'all <laughs> one of my subscribers or someone here on the channel left a comment and suggested that i put my business budget in a separate planner and i was like how genius like i never thought of that because this is my regular budget planner as y'all know I use this every week, almost every day. And I was like, why didn't I think of that? Because when I see my budget planner, I just know it's budgeting time, right? I have all this thing. It's been this way for a couple of years now. I've been in half letter budgeting for, oh, uh, I want to say three years. I'm not sure, probably longer. But I also have my business planner. But I have a finance section, which is here. I use a mix of different inserts. I use some from myself, which you'll see later in the new planner. I created um, a business budget workbook, like 2023, early part. And I don't know, I released it, but it had dated calendars in it. Anywho, I took those out and kind of revamped it. So I've been using a little bit of both of those and something from cloth and paper but the problem was that I wouldn't check in here as often here lately I became more mindful of what I was spending and writing down my expenses not necessarily doing a budget but but at least writing down the expenses so when um the subscriber or whoever that was left that comment I was so excited and I was like you know what that's a great idea so I decided well I don't want two half letter budget planners. I didn't want to do another mini HP planner because I felt as though I could have just stayed in what I was in. I didn't want to do A5. And I said, you know, let's try out classic HP. I haven't tried that. And I think it would be a great size to budget in. So let's get into it. Um, this dashboard is going to be in our March subscription box. I did get a cover two glass covers from cloth and paper. I need, already is scratched up. I need a cover cover for it, but right now this is fine. I use these discs. I don't know when, where I got them. I think they may have been in a cloth and paper subscription box or order or something, but I found these in my stash. I also found this cute little bow from scheduled planners in my stash. So let's get into it. Oh, I also got dividers from cloth and paper. I have not labeled them yet because I want to make sure I'm comfortable with where, where I have everything at um, if I want to switch some things around later. So I just don't want to make any permanent sections. But for right now, this is my calendar section. I, oh, excuse me. Well, we're going to start with goals. I did put my goals in here. I took, I found a extra classic HP bundle that I had left over. So I just added some components from that in here as well. So here's my goal section. Um, we have the calendar. We have the perpetual calendar. And then I know another year at a glance and this is from cloth and paper. And then the holidays and observances. I love this from cloth and paper. So I have it in a couple. And it's just too bad they don't just sell that by itself. But I can understand why not. It's just one piece of paper. And then I did leave January in here. And February. So let's get to March. I don't have a lot of business bills. So what I did with this section. Let me make sure y'all can see. What I did with this section is I listed out those things that are pretty much budget bill. I mean, excuse me, business bills. I recently got Epidemic Sound and TubeBuddy. So I wanted to list it over here so that I know going forward next month, I'll know to add that to my business budget. I put Amazon, my paydays. And then also 
um, Canva. I put T-Mobile. Now, I have some things in here that are not business related, but for me to add these things, that lets me know that maybe I need to do something extra in my business so that it can I can actually pay myself. I'm hoping y'all with me. So like if I see that I have T-Mobile here and I look at my monthly spread, I'm like, okay, maybe I need to run a sale. Maybe I need to promote something or something like that. That could help pay, you know, one of these bills. If I have already gotten caught up on my, you know, things I need for the budget box here over the side, I'm using this as like what needs to be done this week. So this week I put Epidemic Sound and TubeBuddy because that's when I got those things. Over here I have vendors or the sticker papers. Um, dang, I wrote sticker paper twice. Um, I need to get my sister's birthday tickets. I need to cancel it out because the tickets were just too high and I just could not afford them. Um, boxes need to be ordered by this week here. So that's how I'm doing that. So I love me a good two-page monthly, y'all. Like, if you don't know, I love me a two-page monthly. So all that is monthly for the year. And then what I did was I stuck one of our um, cards from last month's box, journaling cards, right here. And then here is the bill tracker. These are inserts that are going to be in the March box as well. And so I started filling out some things here. And these are probably just all my bills. So I'll have <laughs> probably eight years worth of these bill trackers. Then we're going to get into the finance bundle. Also, I have some things over here on the side that I want to add in to the planner with you guys on camera. And we're just going to do the flip first. So then we have the finance bundle, the monthly budget. So I wrote down, I found that I'm very familiar with this. And I was like, I don't know why I was trying to use something else, but this is what I use to do my regular budget. Why wasn't I using this bundle? But I still have my workbook here. And I just put in like a guesstimate of what I would spend on shipping, products, supplies, Shopify, um, all those great things. And then my bills are listed here. This is actually wrong. I have to kind of go back and fix that. But just to give me a monthly kind of overdue. And here's paycheck budget. I actually need to fill this out for this week. And then I was like, do I need debt payment in here? Because I really don't have any um, business debt at the moment. But I just left them in here just in case I obtain any. Then we get to savings. I do want to put some saving, business savings. So I left those in there. Spending tracker. I wrote down just some spending I've done this week. And I actually have some more in the business plan that I need to transfer over here. And then envelope breakdown. Because at one point, I was trying to use envelopes for my business. So I just left those in there. And then the year in review. And then we get into... I have this journal card here from Rosie Paper Tree. Brave. And I just wanted a little layering. And this is what the business budget workbook looked like. And then I just switched the picture that I had from here from last year. I just switched the picture out. You know, the intro. Managing your finances creates freedom in your business to grow further. And then there's a resource list over here. Business goals. And I kind of made a mistake. But I put the monthly, like, budget mixed with the expense tracker where I wanted to do those separate and I just may go back and do it but I did take it off my website so right now it's just kind of for me so I have an expense tracker yeah I just wrote in like I got some paper clips well, everything is so high and then you get into your expense breakdown all the different expenses that you need and then there is a inventory and profit sheet for the year month but i see some things i definitely would change but i'm just going to test them out to see if i use it and then i had a daily sales log and then there are some note pages and that's it that is the end and then i have these extra dividers 
So now I want to, I was trying to find old Happy Planner stuff, but I guess I threw it all away. <laughs> I felt like I was never going to be back in Happy Planner. So these came in a subscription box from Cloth and Paper. And these are the months. And I want like a, a pocket so that I can put all my stuff in, but I just can't buy nothing else. So I'm going to take this March tab. And we're going to go to March so that I can get to it a little quickly. But I'm, I'm excited to kind of be in Happy Planner. It gives me a little more room. It's really, I'm not even going to hold you. It is a little big, but I'm excited to be in here because I have a little more room. And I said, if I don't use it, like for my business budget, I can always use this for my regular budget and then maybe sw switch with the half letter. But for right now, it's working. I had these um, tacked on to the back with the paper clip. But you know what? I'm not going to put that there. I have this gold achievement. I want to put it somewhere. I just don't know. Where I want to put it. Maybe I can. Uh... See, that's what I need. I need a a folio and I looked at one today on um what's the people called Amazon a mo term one but I don't know I'm just so overspending money right now I just don't even know <laughs> so we have these urgent sticky notes from cloth and paper I'm trying to think do I have like a I'll put them here Just a few. Then I have these little sticky notes. I want to put some of these on the months. Because they fill the page. And I did add these little task ones just to kind of move around. Because they fit the calendar perfect. Okay, I think that is it. Oh, I did get this card. Since I want a folder, let me see if I have another paper clip. Oh, I have a paper clip. And that's a good way I can maybe hold some, let me see. Since this plan is so big, maybe I can hold a few little things in here, like this. <laughs> oh, let me take them out. Fix. There we go. Okay, so we got those to fit. Put that in there like that. And that is it, y'all. But I am really, really loving this. I just hate that it's getting messed up on my desk. So I definitely want to get a cover for it. But I really like the way that it looks like this. As you can see, she's pretty thick. And I really don't even have a lot in there. Just really all my necessity things. But she's beautiful. I love it. I couldn't wait 
I made a business expense. I couldn't wait to come down here and put it in here. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If so, please do me a favor. Leave me a message in the comment section letting me know that you are new here so that I can welcome you to the Cove. And also hit that thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I create any more new content like this. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.